You know, I started doing this in about 83 at the high school, and, and the Doug Best, he was a friend of mine, and he said, why don't you try, you know that tire go flank, why don't you try to do it? I said, oh, I don't think they want to hear it. And, and he needled me, and so I did it. In World War II, she hung limp and low, but she came through. She went to Korea and Vietnam. She went where she was sent by her Uncle Sam. She went to Canada and Desert Storm. She kept them from any harm. On 9-11-01, terrorists crashed planes into the fields of Pennsylvania and the Pentagon. Crashed planes into the towers in New York. The towers fell. She went to Afghanistan and Iraq to give those bastards hell. She waves again today, and some of the terrorists fear the price they may have to pay. Now she waves when the ship's on a briny foam, but she just about quit waving here back at home, because in her own land, she was abused, she was just not, this guy, she was abused, she was burnt, she was refused, and the government for which she stands was scandalized throughout the land. Now she may be dead bare and wearing thin, but she's in damn good shape for the shape she's in. And she's been through the fire before, and she can take a hell of a lot more. Now we put her up every morning, and we take her down every night. We never let her touch the ground, and we try to fold her up right. The old man said to me, he said, you know, we really do like the weather, because we're mighty proud of that scattered old place. And I'm going to tell you something, there isn't one soul here that's any more proud of the flag than I am. And I'll tell you why I think that, because the city gave me a flag saying you're the most patriotic guy in town. Thank you. Thank you, Harvey. Thank you, Don.
this evening a celebration of freedom. We hope you enjoyed the show. Once again, your show this evening.